is nothing but it is a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of production of electricity from energy released during spontaneous chemical reaction and use of chemical and en electrical energy to bring about non spontaneous chemical transformation so cell which is used for this purpose is you can say galvanic cell or you can say electrochemical cell or it is voltaic or daniel cell so in the daniel cell what happens is this is a container where aqueous solution is there this aqueous solution is called electrolyte it, that solution having c ions so that is called electrolyte here zn so4 solution is there where zn plus 2 and so4 minus zn plus 2 and so4 minus 2 ions are there this solution is called cuso4 where copper plus 2 and so4 minus 2 ions are there so this is nothing but electrolyte the solution is called electrolyte now here see you can have a metal strip which is deep inside solution this metal strip is called zn strip this is also metal strip here which you can say copper strip so see this metal strip is nothing but it is called electrode and combine assembly which is having electrolyte plus electrode that is called half cell this is half cell this is also half cell okay so definition of electrolyte is aqueous solution is called electrolyte which conduct electricity then metal strip is called electrode which is deep into electrolyte and combine assembly which is having electrolyte as well as electrode so that is called half cell and if you combine two half cell using salt bridge then you will get complete cell how to getting complete cell so see combination of two half cell is take place in external circuit it is combined by wire through galvanometer or whatever so this is combination in external circuit internal connection is made using salt bridge see salt bridge is nothing but a it is a glass tube which is filled with here cotton is there this is a glass tube which is filled with ammonium nitrate or potassium nitrate nh4 no3 or you can say kno3 so this is you can say salt bridge very important function of salt bridge is to maintain electrical neutrality koi ek baju charge increase thavana adhya se salt bridge is useful to maintain electrical neutrality
So this entire assembly is called Daniel cell. The function of cell bridge. Now see, in this cell, ZN undergoes oxidation and which release the electron. So electrode where oxidation is take place, so that is called anodic electrode. <clears throat> anodic electron is there where oxidation take place. And the electrode where reduction take place, that is called cathode. Anode generally having, see here, positive charge and cathode having negatively charged electrode. So this combined reaction is called redox reaction, ZN plus copper plus two gives ZN plus two plus copper. So this process where oxidation strategy increases from zero to two, it is called oxidation and uh, copper plus two where oxidation state is decreases from plus two to zero. This is called reduction. And combined it is a redox reaction. So at anode oxidation is take place and always at cathode reduction is take place. So this is the Daniel cell or galvanic cell. Important function of this cell is to convert chemical energy function of Daniel cell. is to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. Electron volt E is equal to say 1.1 volt when concentration of ZN plus 2 and copper plus 2 taken unity. See, if you're going to calculate standard potential, then oxidation potential of ZN to ZN plus 2, you can take its literature value and copper plus 2 to copper. Suppose this is, you can have a 0.66 or 0.34. Or Copper is a standard potential, which is reduction potential. Copper plus 2 mathi copper, a 0.34. Che. Zinc no oxidation potential is plus 0.76. Reduction minus 0.76. Che. To and reduction ma convert kar so tari te lakai. Side change kar lewa. So you are getting. Now you can go for calculating each, each standard. For each cell. Standard electrode potential. So, formula for calculating E cell is E reduction at cathode minus E reduction at anode. That is cathode over 0.34 over. Minus minus 0.76. So answer become 0.34 minus minus plus. 
is equal to 1.10 that is equal to 1.1 volt એટલે આપણે 1.1 વોલ્ટ લઈએ છીએ જો સ્ટાન્ડર્ડ પોટેન્શિયલ ઇઝ અ 1.1 વોલ્ટ તો ઇફ ઇ ઇઝ ઇક્વલ ટુ 1.1 વોલ્ટ વેન કોન્સન્ટ્રેશન ઓફ બોથ આર ઇક્વલ ઇટ ઇઝ કોલ સ્ટાન્ડર્ડ સેલ વેન કોન્સન્ટ્રેશન ઓફ ટેન પ્લસ ટુ એન કોપર પ્લસ ટુ બોથ આર ઇઝ ઇઝ concentration is unity that is 1 mole per decimeter cube under this condition the cell is called galvanic cell or voltaic cell under this condition it is called galvanic cell or you can say voltaic cell see up, apart from that if e external is e external is you know that 1.1 so it is called galvanic cell external potential is equal to standard potential then it is called galvanic cell there no chemical reaction no flow of current if e external is less than 1.1 volt so electron is flow from hidden to copper and current is flow from copper to zn in opposite direction that is called normal spontaneous reaction zn undergoes oxidation and it releases electrons so that electron is flow from anode to cathode and current is flow in opposite direction this is the direction of electron so current is flow in a opposite direction so in this case zn is deposited zn is deposited at a node and copper is deposited with cathode zn is deposited at anode and copper is deposited at cathode e external is external potential is greater than 1.1 volt so here opposite take place See, this is a non spontaneous process in this case electron is flow from copper to zn electrode that is you can say cathode to anode and current is flow from a 
एन ओ टू कैथोड so this is the way where the reaction which is taking place at you know what happens see this is a non spontaneous all these three condition we have checked if external potential is equal to standard potential so cell is in equilibrium no chemical reaction concentration of both the electron are unity and under this condition this cell is called is called galvanic cell or you can say under this condition it is called galvanic or you can say voltaic cell e external equal to 1.1 volt an external potential is equal is less than the standard potential then spontaneous reaction taking place normally at anode oxidation take place so zn undergoes oxidation copper undergoes reduction okay so this is the way it will take place e external is greater than 1.1 volt then non spontaneous reaction take place current is flow from zn to copper and electron is flow from copper to zn so at anode what happens zn undergoes oxidation and converted to zn plus 2 and at cathode copper plus 2 undergoes reduction by gaining two electron and converted to copper the other types of electrode which are the important types of electrode so one of them is active metal electrode ji apda case mein use kiya copper ne badai that is collective metal electrode electrode etle metal strip achhe se active metal electrode zn copper or plate any metal second one is inert electrode inert electrode of metal that is platinum graphite etc third one is gaseous electrode there is h2 cl2 etc Okay, how to represent gaseous electrode? So its symbol is to represent gaseous electrode. You can always write down gaseous electrode by this way. See, inner metal is there, which is in touch with gaseous molecular form. Suppose H two electrode is there. So how H two electrode is written? which is in touch with h plus with one atmospheric pressure of this gas so see this is called representation of gaseous electrode the active metal electrode you can know that very well in this way you can represent zn is oxidized to zn plus 2 no concentration is there or you can have a copper so copper plus 2 is reduced to copper so copper 
plus two to copper in this weightage return. Now, how to represent full cell? So, see, half cell is represented in this way. Zn is oxidized to Zn plus 2 in contact with metal. So, this is called, this is, you can say, it is solid state. It is a half cell. Copper plus 2 is reduced to copper. So, this is another half cell. Now, see, these two half cells are connected by salt bridge, and it is represented symbolically by two cross lines in this way. So this indicates salt bridge is used. Echo line with the salt bridge used not you. Electrolytic cell with the line used type. Electrochemical cell may be like. This is a salt bridge which is used. electrochemical cell. Standard half cell connectivity, standard half cell. Standard half cell is concentration of solution. is one molar and pressure of pressure of the gas is one atmospheric at 25 degrees Celsius temperature The, the cell of such type is called standard half cell. And by combining two standard half cell, it gives standard cell it is represented by the degree is degree cell that is called a standard cell measurement in voltmeter is is if suppose if you want to measure standard cell potential so if you what happens in in this measurement see so voltmeter voltmeter is not accurate to measure
to measure ECM. But potentiometer is accurate. is used to measure a standard accurately. So if you want to measure, see accurate measurement is required, so you can always go for potentiometer. And see standard cell is how to define standard of cell potential the standard cell potential is defined as standard set potential of half cell connected to hydrogen half cell the potential of potential of cell with respect to Standard hydrogen half cell is called standard half cell potential. See potential of any cell which is with respect to standard hydrogen, so that is called standard potential. Or you can say standard potential is nothing but potential which is measured under standard condition and standard condition is nothing but one atmospheric pressure, 25 degrees Celsius temperature and solution having concentration, one molar. So how to Calculate it. So standard cell potential is calculated using two formula. Either you can use you can either you can use oxidation half cell potential. So oxidation half cell potential at anode minus cathode. Or you can have a C reduction potential, then reduction potential at cathode minus anode. Okay, so in this way you can calculate. Suppose Zn plus 2 to Zn, reduction potential of zinc is minus 0.76 volt, reduction potential of copper is copper plus 2 to copper is 0.34 reduction of oxidation ma conversion karu hoy ke oxidation of reduction ma so we simply change this sign aya banne reduction potential che so see anode means highest oxidation potential anode ko ne kave pehla e ora ke see it's the highest oxidation potential or lowest reduction potential and cathode means opposite highest oxidation potential sorry highest reduction potential cathode per reduction that reduction potential with that whole or lowest oxidation potential. So our body reduction potential up is a 0.34 is highest value. So it's a cathode minus 0.76 is the lowest value. So this is a node among these two, it's a node. So you can use 
फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल आ बने रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल ज आप तो आ फॉर्म्यूला यूज करो तो ये स्टैंडर्ड इज इक्वल टू रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल एट कैथोड दैट इज पॉइंट थर्टी फोर माइनस इट इज एट एन और सो इट बिकम वन पॉइंट वन जीरो वोल्ट सो इन दिस वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट स्टैंडर्ड पोटेंशियल वट एवर फॉर्म्यूला यू आर यूजिंग योर आंसर के नॉट बी चेंज or you can see convert this anodic and cathodic into see this potential into oxidation you can use formula of oxidation potential so you are getting same answer okay so thanks for the like here thank you very much